There are a number of people who worked in the hospitality industry on Maui who lost their homes. And we've also been hearing about a number of restaurants and chefs now helping to feed those who've been displaced. Chefs such as Leanne Wong of Papa Aina Maui and Cocoa Head Cafe in Honolulu are banding together to serve thousands of meals daily to those in need. KITV 4 Cynthia Yip has a closer look at Chef Hui. Chef Hui is not just about the food. It's about the spirit of resilience and compassion that is shining through to heal wounded souls. We have each other and being here in this uh, here at the college surrounded by everybody who's working so hard, who's just given up, dropped everything they're doing to to just mobilize and get it done. I mean, there is also hope and there's life and there's love. And I think that, you know, we're Maui strong and that's like really it. We, we have chefs coming down who are working here who lost everything and they're still coming in here to work every day to help feed people. They're, they're coming in with these terrible stories of surviving and they still continue to have this drive to feed the community and work together with us. Chef Leanne Wong lost her Lahaina restaurant Papa Aina in the Pioneer Inn to the wildfire devastation. The Chef Hui Hub is centered at the Maui College's Culinary Arts Kitchen, which is preparing up to 10,000 meals a day which are being distributed to American Red Cross, Salvation Army and Convention Center shelters. Other key partners include Fukunaga Produce and the Hawaii Food Alliance. Chef Hui, we're a grassroots organization. Um, you know, we have zero employees. This is a passion project for us. So if it wasn't for all the partners, all the chefs, many of them who have lost their own homes and or restaurants who are just showing up. So all we encourage our public to do is to please be patient. Um, the outpouring of love and aloha to show up is going to be needed next week and next month and even next year. These chefs embody the true essence of community support reminding us that even in the darkest of times, the light of aloha and ohana brightly shines through. Cynthia Yip, KTV4 Island News.